Selena Gomez. That's Selena Gomez. I'm a DM her. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go to my profile so you guys can know that it's my it's my actual thing. That's my actual account. You see that? And then it's very far. Just so you know. Look at that that top. It's very far. So it's me. I got this video that I'm about to watch right now. I'm gonna watch it with you guys. And I'm gonna give my thoughts. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm thinking about this and who's right, who's wrong, who's approaching this differently, and who's approaching it the way they should be approaching it. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, guys, let's get into it. You can comment below. Credit to this channel. I don't know which channel this is from, but I'm gonna put it somewhere in the description. You guys can just click on it. Also here on the screen, you guys can just go and check them out and give us some credit, credit, credit to this channel, credit to the channel that made this video. Again, guys, let's get into it real quick. Selena Gomez finally responded to Hailey Bieber on Instagram and revealed that Hailey begged her for help. Hailey Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she's been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. This is not what I stand for. No one should experience hate or bullying. Just when we thought that Selena Gomez versus Hailey Bieber drama couldn't get any messier, Selena dropped a bomb shot on IG claiming that Hailey reached out to her for help. Selena urged her fans to stop with the negativity and be kind. However, it looks like Selenators are not really buying Hailey's uh -huh. claims about the threats. And they're saying Hailey is playing the victim in the drama she started. Also, this is not the first time Selena publicly defends Hailey. Before we continue this guy, I want to make sure, I want to tell people out there, stay away from drama. Okay, stay away from drama. It's not it's not helping. It's, it doesn't help nobody. You know, the things like little things like that become big pretty quick. You know what I mean? So, it's not worth it, dude. It's not. It's not worth it. Like, find something else to put your energy into. Like, do something positive with your time. You know, if somebody coming after you, if you can just ignore them, do it. Not every fight is worth fighting. You know, sometimes you just got to walk away. Most of the time. Or all the time if you can. You know, just walk away. And then just ignore it. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, Haley's husband, Justin Bieber, stayed completely silent on the recent drop. And it's funny to me that Selena is always the one that has to be the bigger person in the situation. Yeah. If, the, if you're watching this, if you have a problem with somebody, be the bigger person. Because guess what? At the end of the day, you win. Even if you don't win, you still win. You know what I mean? Because you you step up, you 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 know you trying to you trying to make things work. You trying to you know trying to ease the situation. You know, but some people don't, some people just like to make things worse. Yeah, we're just trying to do, just trying to be better, trying to be a better person. That's how we put it. Be a better person. Better is always better. There's nothing better than better. It's not perfection. I just made that up. Don't steal that. That was for me. I copyright that thing. Always the one. So why exactly did Haley decide to reach out to Selena? Why didn't she ask Justin to say something first? Let's talk about this. If you thought the online drama between Selena Gomez and Haley Bieber was over, well, we're here to tell you that a major plot twist just happened. After two months of constant back and forth between the fandoms, Selena finally spoke out and defended Haley against the alleged death threats she's been getting from Selena's fans. Now, before we get into all of that, you should keep in mind that this is not the first time Selena publicly defended Haley from her own fans. And meanwhile, we can't really recall Haley ever doing the same for Selena. To give you just a see right there, that's a difference. That's a difference. See, no matter even if Selena Gomez, like she seemed to be right. She seems to be right, but she's still, you know defending the person that's wrong that's i gave her some props for that prop prop props for that thing you know what i mean you gotta be the better person you gotta be the bigger person you gotta be the person that stands up for the right things let's get it you examples back in december 2021 julina stan went viral after trying to rally fans to watch Haley's instagram live and bombard her with comments about selena we need to fucking bombard that shit with Jelitna and how Selena is better. Go after her, please. Let's all go after her. Do not do not listen to these people. Do not listen to this negativity. That it does not work. That's not what it's supposed to be. Do not listen to that. Do not try to push people against other people. It doesn't work. It doesn't make this world a better place. Why would you want to push other people against others? Why would you want to push some people against other people? How exactly is that helping any situation to be better? You know, like it's like you're just adding gas to the fire that's how we put it yeah that's probably how we put it you know why would you want to do that but like, be a better person do something better do something better do not try to 
turn people against each other. Do not try to turn the fans against the people that they like. Do not. Be a solution, not a problem. This clip went viral. Haley took to IG to say the online hate against her has gotten to a level of anger and hate that is shockingly unhealthy and sad. Haley went on to say that she doesn't condone this type of behavior and would never in a million years wish for someone to be treated this way. I want only to support, uplift, and encourage other women in this industry and wish them nothing but love and success, Haley wrote. But see, this was Haley defending herself, and she never kept the same energy when her fans were throwing shade at Selena, body shaming her, and even... That's the difference. That's the difference. I don't even need to tell you what's wrong and what's right so far. You know what I mean? You can you can discern it for yourself. Be better. In front of her lupus diagnosis. Also, the fan who posted the video telling her followers to go after Haley is not a real Selena fan. See, Selena girls don't actually ship Selena and Justin anymore because they know Justin is one of the main reasons Selena struggled with her mental health for years. And yet, despite all of this, Selena decided to publicly defend Haley and she hopped on IG Live to tell her fans to be kind to everyone and stop tearing other women down. I'm so grateful. However, I do not stand for women tearing women down. And I will never... Respect this lady right here. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Do not stand. Not just women. Do not stand for nobody turning people against other people. If that's one of you, if that's somebody that you're around, do not be around that person. Anybody that turn other people against, some people against other people is not a person you should be around. Like, those are some demonic spirits. You know what I mean? You got to be positive. Do not turn people against others. Be better. Be a better person. Ever be by that. So please be kind to everyone. It doesn't matter what the situation is. If you're my fans, don't be rude to anybody, please. Don't go off and say things that that, that you just feel in the moment. And That's cool. I like that. I really like that. As, especially the part where she said, do not say things that you feel in the moment. That's your heart. Your heart is deceitful. Do not trust your heart. You know what I mean? She said, the moment, that moment is, is everything. You know what I mean? Like, many people end relationship that they've, they've spent years to build just because of that little moment. That little moment that you feel pretty angry is the moment that you shouldn't be taking decisions. You know, you should walk away. You should go somewhere. You should go sleep. You know, go watch TV. You like, do something else besides taking that decision that's going to affect your life forever. You know what I mean? That time, that time, that time is pretty important. Do not take decisions when you're angry or when you're mad at somebody. You don't want to. Especially, you don't want to do things that you're going to have to apologize for. It doesn't make you look good. It makes you look like you have mental weakness. Mental weakness is one of the things that people have nowadays. It's like it's a big thing. It's a big, big thing because many people do not watch the way they talk. Many people do not, you know, do, they, do, they don't hold back because they're scared that people are going to say that they be. Well, you, especially now that you call somebody a B, it's like a, it's like a big thing. They're like, oh, are you a B? You don't want to defend yourself. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. Dude, nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. Be a better person. Be a better person. It does not make you a B. It just makes you a better person. Please, for me, know that that's not my heart. And my, my heart is only to release things that I feel that are me and that I'm proud of. And that's, that's all. Say. Forget it. The internet, the internet is just like people love to turn people. Sometimes you see like celebrities aren't even the, the the ones that are bringing troubles, but the fans just putting just making it worse. The fans and and, and the media, but most of the time it's like the fans, like oh, say, oh he said this and that said that he said that, and then everybody starts to come against each other. Like, bro, when is it? When did that even become a thing? Why are you guys turning everything into 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 things that aren't supposed to be? You know, just stop it. When Haley appeared on the Call Her Daddy podcast a year later, she actually implied that Selena never said anything to stop her fans from spreading hate. He has been in this industry much longer than I have, and maybe there's something that she knows about, like it wouldn't fix anything. Everyone is just trying to like create separation, even though there's clearly like not always separation. That's what I just said. Like, 
People just want to create a separation, mostly the fans. Turn everybody against each other and then turn this little thing into a big thing that make no sense. I have no expectation. I would never expect someone to do that for me. Like, she doesn't owe me anything. I don't owe, neither of us owe anybody anything except like respect. I respect her a lot. And I think that like, there's just no expectations. If that was something that she felt was necessary, then that would be amazing. This enraged Selena's fans because we all saw how Selena defended Haley. And it seemed like Haley was trying to gaslight everyone. What's also interesting is that Haley apparently convinced to call her daddy host, Alex Cooper, to delete the podcast episode from her YouTube channel, which for- Ooh, that's cold. See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you're saying things that you're going to have to apologize for, especially like this. You cannot delete the podcast, especially when you're a celebrity. Like, the moment you upload something, people are already downloading. As you're uploading, it's not even 100% uploaded. People are already downloading. You know what I mean? So, you got to... You're a celebrity, you're going out there, you're going on the show, you're going on the podcast. You got to watch what you're saying. You got to watch the way you say things, the things that you say. Like, people already, like, people filming, people ready to just capture that, you know? And and it stays out there forever. Everything you put on the internet, you may delete it and think that, oh, yeah, I deleted that video. No, you did not. You, the video's out there, probably like 10 billion copies out there. You remember that the, the Kanye West interview on on drink drink champs? Is it drinks champ or drink champs? I don't know. That that interview that got deleted. They thought they deleted that interview. They, I, I was on I went on Facebook and I saw they were like, oh drink champs deleted the interview with Kanye West and blah blah. I'm like, nope, nobody deleted nothing. They thought they deleted it, but no, you you didn't delete anything. It's like it's like 10 billion copies already out there places and then guess what after that interview there's like so many uploads of that same interviews interview on different channels and it's still out there today so don't think because you deleted it means that you actually deleted it no you did not speculations that Haley was trying to twist the narrative however selena still found it in her heart to be the bigger person and after Haley and kylie jenner were recently accused of body shaming her selena again defended them and told fans she doesn't stand for any kind of bullying it all started back in january when selena was body shamed by internet trolls over her bikini photos from mexico and that same week Haley shared a now deleted tiktok with kendall jenner and justine sky lip syncing to the audio i'm not saying she deserved it but god's timing is always right selena what I don't hate is people bringing God into the nonsense. Do not bring God into your stuff. Do your negative stuff. You got to leave God's name away from it. You know, bring God's name in. in, in, in. You got to exalt that name. Because you got to put it up there. Do not bring in your, in your thing if you're going to be bringing it down there. You don't, bring, don't put shame on God's name. Shine the light on it. Put it up there. So people respect it. Nonsense. Then responded to a fan's TikTok warning them not to blow this out of proportion. It's okay. I don't let these things get me down, Selena wrote. Be nice to everyone. So Yo, that's that's hard. I like this. She's... Who is this person? I like this version of her better. Also later went live on TikTok to explain why her weight fluctuates. And she once again made it clear she doesn't want her fans to attack others. I tend to hold a lot of water weight and that happens very normally. And then when I'm off of it, I tend to, to kind of lose weight. Really, guys? <laughs> um, I, just, I just wanted to say and encourage anyone out there who feels any sort of shame for exactly what they're going through and nobody knows the real story thanks for supporting me and understanding and if not go away because honestly i i don't believe in shaming people for body or anything but then the drama took That's, i like that you know she she she's positive regardless of what the other party is doing, you know, she she she's like she's keeping it she's keeping it positive, she's keeping keeping it clear, and then 
not attacking anybody and then she's still not advising anyone to go against anyone that's so nice another turn when Haley's bestie kylie jenner decided to join the chat shortly after selena hopped on tiktok to say she accidentally over laminated her eyebrows this is me I accidentally laminated my brows too much. Just hours after Selena posted this video, Kylie shared a selfie on her stories with the words, this is an accident, placed over her eyebrows. Then, just moments later, Kylie shared a screenshot of her FaceTime with Haley that was conveniently zoomed in on both of their brows. The fact that Kylie shared not one, but two posts about eyebrows and tagged Haley in one of them seemed to... Yo, this is some kid stuff, bro. This is some kid stuff. You gotta be... You gotta be out of your head to be doing things like this. It's just nonsense. What would you? What do you gain from this? You don't get nothing from this. Such stupidity. That's just what all it is. Much of a coincidence, and fans called out Kylie for throwing shade at Selena. Of course, Kylie denied everything and accused fans of making something out of nothing. And then Selena herself chimed in and once again tried to call. Like I said, my other video with Do with uh, Doja Cat is uh. You know, people don't just come at you. It's what you give out there that they take it and then bring it back to you and throw it back at you. You know what I mean? Like you reap what you saw. Like that's exactly what's happening here. They get it and then kind of, oh yeah, this exactly. They put that all together and they, they, they slap it back at you. Like you started this, you know? Situation by responding directly to Kylie's comment. Agreed, Kylie Jenner. It's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie, Selena wrote. <laughs> Yo, how nice can a person be? This is so nice. Really nice. Everybody should be like this. Do not want to fight everybody. Do not want to do not want to fight people for 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 for, certain, for some reason or certain things. Like this is pretty cool. She this is this is actually pretty nice. I liked it. I like it. I like it a lot. Selena's fans continue dragging Haley and Kylie on social media and digging up evidence that both of them have always hated Selena. Haley and Kylie both lost millions of followers amid the recent drama, while Selena broke the Instagram record by becoming the first woman ever to surpass 400 million followers. And guess what? See what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. Good always win. Good always wins. Put that in your head. Negativity doesn't take nobody anywhere. It does not. You may think that you're winning, but you're not winning. You're not winning. You you're gonna be doing some negative stuff, some negative stuff, and you're gonna be like, yeah, I'm winning, I'm winning, yeah, I, I'm doing this right. No, you're not. You're not winning anything. You're thinking that you're winning. You're not winning. You just at that moment you're thinking that you're winning, but only time with time you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna lose big. I was look big, big, big. You're gonna lose big. Oh yeah. Did after surpassing Kylie on Instagram. That's right, she again defended Kylie and Haley and called on her fans to be kind. Selena shared a video of herself doing a makeup tutorial on TikTok, and in the comments, she again reminded fans that they need to think of other people's mental health before attacking them. Yes. Please, please be kinder and consider others' mental health, Selena wrote. My health. Yeah, I got DM Selena right now. I got a DM Selena. Where's my phone? Where's my other phone? Where's my other phone? I got DM Selena. I gotta tell. I gotta tell her, yo, what's up? What's up, Selena? I like what you're doing with these people. Watch. I've never DM'd her before. You are thinking that I'm DM? Uh, Selena. Hold on. Let me screen record my thing so you guys can see. It. I'm gonna put it in there. It's screen recording. I'm gonna go to my Instagram. Selena Gomez. That's Selena Gomez. I'm a DM her. I'm gonna say, I'm a mall. Oh, ah, it says this account can receive. It says that I kind of at least I send it. You guys can see it right there. You think it's not my actual account? Watch. I'm gonna go to my actual account. So you guys, I'm gonna go to my profile. So you guys can know that it's my it's my actual thing. That's my actual account. You see that? And then it's very far. Just so you know, look at that that top. It's very far. So it's me. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Been heavy, and I only 
want good for everyone. All my love. But it looks like Selena's fans ignored her pleas because Selena just dropped a bombshell on Instagram claiming that Haley personally reached out to her to ask for help after supposedly receiving threats. On Friday, March 24th, Selena shared an IG story that read, Haley Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. This Again, going back to what I said earlier, what you throw out there is what you get back. What you rip is what you saw. You cannot put potato in the in, on the ground, in the ground, in the floor or whatever, and expect to get mangoes back. No, it does not work like that. You put mango down the floor, you get mangoes back. You put corn, you get corn. You put peanut, you get peanut. That's it, bro. You put negativity out there, negativity coming back right at your door. Watch what you do. Watch what you say. Watch how to re you interact with people. You know, if you put love out there to people, love is gonna come back at you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's simple, pretty clear, very very simple. Many people don't get it. Many people don't understand this. I don't. I don't understand why people don't understand this. It's easy. You put one out there, you're gonna get one, and you're gonna get even two back. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you put one, you're gonna get three back. That's what it is. If you take, you take, you take. It's something is gonna take from you. Take from you. Take from you. Be positive. It doesn't hurt. It's free. What I stand for, no one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always advocated for kindness and really want all this to stop. Shortly after, Selena also followed Haley on Instagram. Selena's post received mixed reactions amongst her fans. While some fans praised Selena for once again defending Haley, many others said they're tired of Selena always having to be the bigger person, while Haley never takes accountability for contributing to the drama. Besides that, fans are also wondering how come Haley didn't tell her husband Justin to say something before reaching out to Selena. Haley and Justin are quick to clap back at fans when something affects them personally, but they never defended Selena against their own fans. And yes, Selena is out here doing charity work once again. Haley contacting Selena is really blowing me because why is it constantly Selena's responsibility to stick up for somebody who has a whole history of disrespecting her over a man? The same man you married and should be defending you. Selena is not your husband, girl. Can't begin to comprehend the fact that Selena Gomez has defended Haley so many times and Justin hasn't said a word, another fan wrote. Haley reached out to Selena but didn't tell her husband to say anything. And then Haley finally decided to break her silence and follow Selena back and wrote on her Instagram stories. I want to thank Selena for speaking out as her and I have been discussing the last few weeks how to move past this ongoing narrative between her and I. She continued, things can always be taken out of context and construed differently than they were intended. We all need to be more thoughtful about what we post and what we say, including myself. In the end, I believe love will always be bigger than hate and negativity, and there is always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy and compassion. But let's hear your thoughts on this. How do you feel about Selena defending Haley again? And do you think Haley response to Selena was genuine. Let us in the comments and don't miss out on this next video. Hey yo, that was that was a cool video. Not gonna lie. Shout out to these people for making this video. Shout out to these people for making this awesome video. I'm gonna put the link to this video in the description. You guys can go and check it out. Go to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Show some love. Show some love. Tell them MMR sent you. Yeah, MMR sent you, guys. Go them and tell them. Go there and tell them MMR sent you. Show them some love, guys. Um, again, thank you for this video. Thank you for thank you to whoever's watching. Be positive out there. Only put positivity out there because what you put out there is what you're going to get back. You know what I mean? You put negativity, you're going to get it back. It's simple. Okay, guys? More videos on the way. Shout out to Selena Gomez from, for being such a nice person even in this type of situations, you know? Um, catch you guys next time. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful people that made me. Beautiful people that made me. Beautiful people that made me. Who did? God. Jesus Christ. I couldn't do it at all. No. I would not do it at all. Hey. I ain't finna do it at all. Jesus Christ, don't be with me. Holy Spirit's in my bones. Thank you, God, I'm not alone. Oh, just tell me you should have known. Yeah, yeah oh, just tell me you should have known. Yeah. God watching me from the top. Hey, higher than your drone. God watching me from the top. Hey, watch. Yeah, he higher than your drone. Holy Spirit's in my bones. Thank you, God, I'm not alone. Yeah, oh, just tell me you should have known. Yeah, oh, just tell me you should have known. These are the people that made me. These are the people that made me. These are the people that made me. God. Just cause I couldn't do it at all. I wouldn't do it at all. I ain't finna do it at all. Just cause doing it with me.
beautiful people that made me. Beautiful people that made me. Beautiful people that made me. God, just cause. Oh, yeah, so. Never mind, my mom.